The Speeders of Summer 2 project is now complete. And as a result of that, it's now time for me to get on with starting Midnight Club 2. So, I did a few changes going into this. And well, this is probably the only way for me to really show you how I uh, set up my audio, but if I just head over here to audio options, you'll notice I made a few changes here or there. I'll also turn the effects volume down just a little bit more. Yeah, five should do it. It's basically just because I really don't want the in-game sound effects to overrule my voice, whilst also making sure that I have some uh, decent sound in the game itself. Anyways, yeah. So those are the options I now have. Of course, I've turned the music off because, well, I do not want YouTube, obviously, to basically sue me to fucking hell and back again. And, as you can see here, we can only start with one car, all the other cars are locked, so the co cart is our only choice, because we have to win all of the cars in order to use them. Well, win each car in order to use them. And, I'm also pretty sure this car is very resemblant of a Ford Escort RS Cosworth, so, just for that reason, I want to drive this thing in blue. And now, I shall head this over to the cutscene. Look at this little shrimp. Who does he think he's kidding, posing like that? Think he can race me in that car? Still, I must try to be nice, yo. Hey, bro, follow me. Look at this place, little shrimp. Welcome to the L.A. street racing scene. My friend, whenever you want to race someone, just flash your beams at them. Go on, flash them. Like I was a pretty girl. Not that hard to imagine. Okay, let's go. There you go, little shrimp. So, basically, our introductory racer to this game is called Moses. He's basically the guy who introduces us to this game and to the Midnight Club. Basically the exact same construction towards starting this game in comparison to well basically the same starting procedures that you get as seen in the previous game except for saying this time that ultimately we do get to use a different car and I am losing losers And I am glad to say that Moses slowed down for me to catch up to him. Okay, thank you, that is very helpful. That's uh, one thing I didn't know once I missed that junction, but either way, yeah. I can also say the physics are a major improvement on the previous game. Just figured I'd uh, mention that, if you want to know one positive. Anyways, over to you, Mr. Cutscene. Once you load. Since he's got the moves on old Moses, huh? <laughs> I'll eat him for breakfast, poor little fella. Not bad, but I'm just being kind. Hey, my friend, look at her. You see how she's looking at me? When the hands go down, we go, yo. Yeah. Okay. So Moses is basically the guy who introduces us to the Midnight Club. Basically the same thing as what Emilio Sanchez did in the first game, if you can believe it or not. Except for saying that this time, of course, we are doing this game in much faster cars compared to the first game. Another thing I should mention about this game is this game would start a trend that would basically continue onwards 
into the rest of the series, and that is the inclusion of motorcycles. And believe it or not, this will officially be the first game that I will have used motorcycles of any sort in basically any racing game. And it will probably not be my last either. Anyways, easy win, and Moses is running at the back. So Devo was second, followed by Ray Ray, then it was T-Bone in fifth, sorry, then it was T-Bone in fourth, to be corrected. Moses finishes fifth, and it was Dub who finished in last. And now, it is replay time. Since... I figured this was going to be the best way for me to show this off. But yeah, so I can definitely tell you the cars in this game are a bit faster with our startup cars compared to the previous game and you can definitely tell when Rockstar have certainly done their homework in terms of improving the physics. Because, as I said before, the physics are a major improvement from the previous game. I should also mention this game is quite a challenge. And even though this did look like an easy win, this I would probably think is about as easy as it's going to get, or so I would think, because the rest of this game is pretty much going to be a challenge, and some races will be more challenging than others. Anyway, over to our next cutscene. Out of this house! Beautiful damn car! I'll make him say Moses, I have seen God. He weighs 280 pounds. For my car, huh? Let's go! So in this race, we are now going to race Moses for his car. Me, bro? I count us in. We start on go. I do the countdown. We start on go. Okay, so, as far as I'm concerned, that previous attempt absolutely 100% did not just happen. And it barely even lasted 200 meters, in my opinion. Well, at least I can say I made the jump that time and I was not immediately quashed into where the side of the ramp was. But either way, it's one bequest that I can say has now been immediately removed as I basically shoot straight through this alleyway and just avoid hitting the median there under the bridge. And not gonna miss this shortcut. And there we go. I win on my first try. I won this race on my first try. Officially. Anyway, let's continue with the career. Listen up, yo. The ride you just won for me is a can of nitrous in it. Give it a squeeze. Enjoy the car, my friend. You got potential. Still got a lot to learn, though. Flash those beams, bro. Keep racing. I should also mention, Moses, by the way, will now be serving as our streets guide, since we have beaten him for his car. And if I just head back to the main menu now, you will notice there are two things we get. So, we now have more than just one car, 
as the car we now have is the city, the car which we won from Moses, and this car is basically a Honda Civic. As you can immediately tell by the shape and design, it's very loosely based off the Honda Civic, in my opinion. Anyway, that was our first challenger of Midnight Club 2, and 2.5% of this game is now complete, and now we just have to go and get the remaining 97.5% of this game. And with that, stay tuned for more of Midnight Club 2.